I'm here with my buddy Nick Moran in my studio where they've moved my hospital bed so I could be a little bit more comfortable. I'd rather be here working in my studio than, than cooped up in some hospital. And we're listening to tracks that we recorded down in the studio in the 90s when I first started doing this stuff down here with a group of guys that was mainly consisted of myself and Curtis Boyd on drums and David Kingston Arthur Thomas Bramery on bass and uh, Brian Charette is on piano on a lot of, on a lot of them and Spike Wilner is on some of them and uh, John Cowers on some it was kind of a rotating cast of characters. We were having very regular, we were getting kind of a, getting a more cohesive kind of group sound going here, recording with the same guys almost every week. We were doing like, we, we did a whole bunch of consecutive sessions. Every Tuesday we would get together for a session over here. And I would sit in the corner over there and record and lie and mix live to two track while while playing. We, we, we set up the room so we had, you know, we, we kind of worked with the bleed. We didn't have a big enough room to keep everything real separate. We did a multi-microphone live to two-track recording. The guitar mic'd with probably uh, a DI and a single mic on the speaker. And the piano mic'd stereo. And four mics on the drums usually, two overheads, and a bass drum and a snare drum mic. And the bass was usually marked, mic'd with a nice RE20, Electro Voice RE20. So uh, what you just heard now was from the uh, session in the springtime with uh, Thomas Bramery and Curtis Boyd. Uh, there are many wonderful recordings that we're going through, and uh, we are going to be selecting a number of tracks for a release forthcoming. I think you're going to find all of this uh, very exciting stuff. It's beautifully done, and as Rick said, it all went straight to mix. So uh, what you hear is what you get. Um, we've been listening to this for the past three or four days, and I know that I'm getting very excited. And there are about some the tunes in here that I have not got other recordings of elsewhere. There are some tunes in here like that. We were hearing the tail end of, of a composition of mine called Veronica's Waltz that was never released on an album as we never got around to releasing it on anything. And I, I think in 2020 hindsight, my relentless perfectionism got in my way and, and prevented me from releasing this stuff 20 years ago when I should have. And now that I am no longer playing, this is the right time to do it. I, if I, I want to do so, I need to do something creative here. If I can't play the guitar anymore at this point, I can still go through this old stuff. There's a lot of material that has never seen the light of day, which probably should have. And I was, I feel kind of stupid for holding it back for this many years. In any yeah. case, uh, you will see some uh, notices coming out about uh, doing some crowdfunding, uh, some Kickstarter activities. And uh, we certainly look forward to uh, our friends getting behind this so that this, this uh, wonderful music can uh, come to light. I think you'll find it very exciting. You'd be very good on, 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 on public television. Yes, I'm on public television right now. <laughs> Are you on public television I'm right on, now? I'm, I'm on we public television zeros. We have operators waiting right now for your call. Right, right. In any case, we're having a great time listening to this, and uh, we think you really have something to look forward to. <laughs> operators are standing call, uh, standing by waiting for your call. <laughs> All right, so we'll be hearing from you. Thanks. <laughs> 